Hello and welcome to Raising the Bar with me, Mr. Bar. Today we're going to be talking about Circle Theorem number five. Dun, 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 dun. That's the wrong song. Anyway, today it's called the Alternate Segment Theorem. And what that means is, on the board I've got a circle, it's a circle theorem, and I've got a triangle inside it because circle theorems love triangles. I've got a line along the bottom that touches the circle in one place. Therefore, it is a tangent. Now, the interesting thing here is this red angle is equal to this red angle. And this angle here is equal to this angle here. Now, these are alternate segments and the angles are the same. The way I kind of remember it or try to remember it is if I took this and like shunted it up. So if I just took this angle and this was the pivot and spun it up, these two angles would match. And equally here, if I took this angle and like moved it up, then those would be the same. This is, I would say, probably the hardest one to spot in the wild, as it were, but it is one to remember. And it is the alternate segment theorem. Alternate segment theorem. One mark for getting the angles in any of these questions. One mark for getting alternate segment theorem. Tangents meeting at a point I equal tangents form a 90 degree angle. All triangles within a semicircle go through the center are 90 degrees. Angles subtended from the same arc are equal. Angles at the center is twice angles at the circumference. Those are the ones you need to know for your GCSEs. So do your magic, do your revision. Best of luck. That circle theorem's done. Let me know what you want next. Vectors.